Tech Bytes. Brought to you by Lawrence, makers of HDS high definition systems. Out fishing on the lake, you're, you're pretty much exposed. You're out there in the elements. You, there's nothing around you but water, and all of a sudden a big storm comes up, and it can get very, very dangerous very quick. Really? Yep. Now, one thing that we always pay attention to is the Weather Channel. Watching the weather, keeping up with it, making sure that if we're going fishing, that there's not going to be anything, and we know how good weathermen are. I mean, you know that when they say nothing's happening, nothing will ever happen, right? <laughs> Wrong. You never know. We've had days canceled and it's been, you know, nice days and, and of tournament days that were just totally canceled because it was supposed to be bad and it turns out to be beautiful. And I, I've been out there when they said it's a beautiful day and this big squall line will come through and it'll be 50 mile an hour winds or a big thunderstorm will build up and, and it's really scary. And what's really bad is that on the body of water, you are the highest object out there being fishing, you know, being a fisherman. And the lightning is looking for that fastest connection to ground. So that's going to be you. It's going to hit the highest object. So it's really scary to be on the water and have a lightning storm come up. You have to avoid that at all costs. You know, we were out on Lake Falcon and we're fishing along and it was a pretty day and it just was getting cloudier and cloudier and got nasty and then and we said what's going on so we turned on our Sirius satellite weather and all of a sudden there it is real time real information here's a big thunderstorm and it's coming it actually gives you little arrows directional arrows that will tell you how many miles an hour it's moving and what direction it's moving so i could see where i am where the storm is, where it's coming at me, how fast it's going, and I go, uh-oh, I need to get going. We could hear the thunder rumbling, we gotta get out of here. So what we looked at is we said, well, we're on the water, where can we go? Well, this storm was small enough that I could run to the south end and keep fishing. So we ran down to the south end, avoided the storm, and actually when I was picking up my trolling motor and putting my life jackets on, the raindrops were hitting me and we scrambled and got out of there tremendous life-saving measures to have the serious satellite weather. You can keep up with the weather and that is a life-saving deal.